we go, episode two. Uh, we're showing you new stuff this week. There's not been a ton of stuff, but there's always a few things, isn't there? Uh, we've got these camo, uh, s and SLT stems. You're familiar with them, I'm sure. The finish is pretty, uh, pretty rad. So uh, they already really know about that. Uh, we've got some new Matt Neal stuff. We actually got it just before Christmas, but it was in short supply. We've got a uh, blazer fork. I think it's probably the uh, lightest, or one of the lightest forks we've got at the moment. I mean, the weight uh, will appear on the website, but uh, according to my scales here, these are uh, 836 grams, so a pretty light fork. We've got them in 10 and 14 millimeter dropout options as well now. Uh, nice tapered legs, uh, and they've got that uh, kind of bit down the centre there. Jez might show you that in a minute on a close up, so that's a good fork. The other thing, you know, we weren't so sure about the look of them, we've got these conjoined cranks, um, but the thing that makes them kick ass is the uh, the weight on these. They're profile compatible, so you can use a 19mm uh, standard 48 spline spindle, so you can use a titanium one from Profile or the other people uh, that made them. I think Mark just, where did he put them? <laughs> My beautiful assistant uh, brought me some Profile crank arms just to get a weight comparison on these. Yeah, 232 for the McNeil arms and the profile arms are 298. So uh, that's your uh, that's your difference there. Not like I say, not sold on the looks, but at the end of the day, it looks like they're going to be really strong and they're uh, they're definitely uh, they're definitely light. Uh, the other new thing from McNeil, you know, these, uh, as they call them, fashionably light pegs. They're um, elliptical or ellipsoid or whatever you call it, or eccentric, I don't know what the term is, but they're thick at one end and thin at the other end. On the website it says, I always run them with the logo on the top, but there's, I've just noticed there's no logo on there, so uh, please disregard that information. You'll have to use your own um, intelligence, use the thick part at the, uh, the bottom. But they are a light, uh, they are a light peg uh, for sure. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, we dug some of these seats up. Uh, I don't know if you know, Velo makes seats for virtually everybody in the industry. And um, this is a nice little mid seat, uh, Kevlar and uh, vinyl. A little bit wider at the back than the slim seat for those who like to do um, bar spins and whatnot. Uh, and they're pretty cheap, fourteen ninety nine. We've only got a handful of those. I think we've got like four or five of them or something. What else have we got? Uh, we had shoes, millions and millions and millions of shoes. The ones that really uh, uh, affect BMX really is a Robbie Morales fit um, collaboration shoe with Vans called the Metcalf. Pretty nice shoe. It's got the logos on the side, uh, and most important part, awful so. Shoe called the Whip. This was the mega shoe for us last year. Uh, it's really hard wearing. It's all leather upper. Again, it's got the wa waffle sole impact absorb in the heel. Don't know how much that applies to BMX, but people seem to like it. The price has come down a little bit on that as well. Now it's sixty pounds. Obviously, it's got this cool little Australian colourway and a kangaroo on the back there. Uh, Mark just brought me down these DVDs. I mean, you know, how can you, you know, show DVDs uh, on like, a video without showing a trailer? So, um, Focal Point, BMX, got Will Jackson and a bunch of other people from Australia. You know, if you just click on this um, on the website, you can see the little YouTube trailer for it. And also uh, Unsung, which is a UK DVD by Nick Ford. That was just recently reviewed in Ride. So uh, check those out. Weather's pretty miserable at the moment. So at least you can watch them Ride if you, even if you can't do it yourself. Wheels. Uh, don't bought, built some uh, odd combination of wheels up this week just for the heck of it because we can. 
Uh, obviously custom wheel building is our thing, but once in a while we'll just throw some wheels together so that they're stock and you can just buy them off the website and we can ship them out to you straight away without having to wait for them to be wheel built. This has got a McNeil hub on a white proper rim, uh, white spokes. Uh, you'll have to uh, check on the website or Jez will put in some little uh, caption on the video so you can see what the price is and the weights of these are. So that's one. Now we've built one with a demolition rim. Uh, not sure about the colour scheme, but Jez and a few other people like it. It's this kind of lime green rim, white spokes and a black uh, demolition hub, so that's definitely, definitely different. I don't know if you saw that uh, S&M Stricker complete that we put on the side. We built some wheels for it, um, and they're these, they're the halo hubs uh, with yellow spokes, but the bike's got fluorescent yellow parts. When we come to put the uh, yellow spokes on here, it just looked a bit not right, so we're doing them as wheels separately. If you look on the website, you can buy these as a pair or you can buy them individually. If you buy them as a pair, uh, there's a 10% discount. And again, you know, Jez will put a little caption here, hopefully like now, saying how much they're, uh, they're gonna be. The front hub's got a 10 millimeter Allen bolt axle. Really nice shaped hub. I know kind of halo known for mountain bike parts, but this stuff's good. It's got an alienation uh, delinquent front rim. Uh, super light, not dissimilar to a hazard light in, uh, in shape, to be honest with you. Uh, the rear, we've built it a little bit more heavy duty. Some people want a wheel that's going to last on the rear. We used a, an Odyssey midway rim, similar to a hazard light, but a bit a bit stronger, uh, but not much of a weight penalty. And we did it 48 holes, well, instead of 36. The hub itself, uh, four pole cassette, uh, and you can get it with a uh, 10, 11, or 12 tooth uh, driver on the 14 millimeter rear axle, of course. The other wheel that we had, was a stock Odyssey wheel. We haven't had these for ages and ages. And it's the impossible to get hazard light uh, rim, 36 hole, uh, with the new V3 version of the cassette hub. Uh, the hazard cassette. It comes with the multi-cog deal, so you get 12, 13, 14, and 16 with it. But you can buy it with a uh, 10 or 11 uh, tooth driver, which will fit on for you. It's 20 quid, uh, 20 quid extra. Okay, that's it. We'll um, see you next week. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We forgot to do this. Oh, my God. We had that you know, United deal last week with the frame and the fork and the bars, and we've got another one this week. You'll have to bear with me because we haven't taken it out of the box or anything. Uh, it's a Caleb Kilby signature frame, colourway type thing. And you'll probably see it better if I took it out of the, out of the packaging. Next week, we'll do this before we uh, go on earth. The frame's uh, 20.5, I know you could definitely run 2810, possibly just about 25.9 depending on what brake you're running. It's a really nice frame, it's an off-white colour. Uh, if you saw it on the website, we did build one of these as a complete bike at Christmas with some brown parts and it looked, uh, it looked amazing. Anyway, the deal is, uh, the frame is 220 quid, so that's 220 quid, but we're doing a deal where you get a United seat and a seat post, and uh, we'll just put that trust me oh seat clamp and the united sprocket all in like this gray color uh, all thrown in for free so basically you get the seat the seat post the sprocket and the seat clamp for 220 quid and with so again you'll be able to see that on the side and check it out from the deal from last week, where we have the um, that Trinity frame, I think we've got one of those left, 20.85. So if you fancy that deal, um, you know, go on the order it or give us a call. All right, that's definitely it. Thanks very much. See you next week.